Well, I'm happy to be here and meet you all. Um, I flew from Mexico to here, especially to talk to you. So I'm going to tell you my story. Drawing has always been my favorite way of expression. And I don't remember a time in my life without drawing. I have this memory as a little girl. Uh, I don't know how you were as kids, but <laughs> I remember that sometimes I was a rebel. I didn't want to get into the shower. And my parents convinced me by putting watercolors, papers, and brushes into the shower. And that's how I was the cleanest girl in the world. I didn't want to get out of the shower. And that's a tip if you have little kids. <laughs> I also, well, drawing also is my way of seeing the world. And the world I grew up in was total chaos. I, I was born in Venezuela and I grew up in the Chavez dictatorship and then with Maduro also. And as a kid, I was really aware of things, uh, social and political things kids shouldn't be aware of. So um, now after experiencing all of this uh, time in dictatorship, I understand the true value of freedom, peace and justice. And you usually understand them when they're gone. But well, you also understand the value of speaking up. And well, this is an example. Uh, then when I was uh, growing up, well, I remember first in 2002 that we always had breaking news on the TV, always as a kid. And I remember my parents going to these massive demonstrations and we saw on TV how the dictatorship was shooting at the civilians. And rem I remember being really scared. I remember being in shock. But I also remember that drawing and writing were my tools of, at, uh, with, with the anxiety I had uh, in, that mo in those moments. So I had had uh, sketchbooks and journals since I was like seven. I really remember all these things because I have them written in my journals. Uh, as a kid, so now as an adult, I see them and I'm like, uh, it is overwhelming to read it. And, and after when I was uh, studying in the university in, in the, with uh, journalism, uh, I was really involved in the social movement and we saw terrible things uh, in, in those demonstrations. We saw friends being arrested we saw people being attacked by the army. We saw people being murdered on the streets because they were speaking up. So that's why we decided to leave Venezuela and go to Mexico City, where I have lots of family. And when I arrived to Mexico, I fell in love with this country and I feel responsible of making it a better one. Uh, if there's a doctor here, maybe with a stethoscope, he would hear a remix, a weird remix be between Venezuelan music and mariachis, I, I think. So uh, after years of uh, making cartoons, because I started when I was a university student, I also added to my topics Mexico, and I started to draw also about Mexico. And I realized that something always happened when I drew politicians on my cartoons. People went crazy on social media. They fought with each other. They fought with me. They insulted me. <laughs> it, it went crazy. And people focused on being angry about this uh, politician and forgot about the issue I wanted to solve, uh, the issue I was drawing about. Hatred was the most common reaction every time I drew a politician. And there's some crazy stories about some of my cartoonist friends that actually received offers from these politicians wanting to buy <laughs> their cartoons for themselves. So I was, 
I couldn't believe it. I, I, and I decided I'm going to change the way I work. And I'm going to stop drawing these politicians. And I'm going to focus on the issue and, and solving the issue. And um, it is important to say that uh, this is this uh, way of doing it does uh, not make me neutral. Uh, I'm always with uh, uh, human rights. Uh, the, I, I changed the perspective of doing it. I'm doing it like from the point of view of people and how people see power. So I draw about these politicians without drawing them actually. And this not only generates a connection with the reader, uh, I give them like a puzzle with some missing pieces and the reader is really smart. Uh, it, uh, they put their own pieces in the missing spaces and they add their own interpretation and they usually know who I'm talking about. So I generate this kind of inside joke with them or uh, complicity with them. And then uh, also I avoid cens censorship that is really common in Mexico and Venezuela. So after doing this, I think my work uh, turned to be more profound, more open to interpretation, and also uh, universal. Once one person said to me that uh, she thinks that the, my work are like wordless essays, and I really love that term because I identify myself with that. And well, when I uh, decided to do this little change in the way I did my cartoons, in focusing on solving the problem and in the issue and not only drawing the politician, uh, I decided to uh, see in first hand all the issues I usually draw about. And that's how I started to listen to the mothers of the disappeared women in Mexico. I started doing workshops in prisons. I started also doing workshops on the refugee centers in the borderline. And these experiences not only give me, uh, of course, I feel sad and angry every time I, uh, in those experiences, but they help me understand the world more and they help me transmit my pain into the drawing to make people care. So this is how people start to unite uh, to solve a problem, although their way of thinking is very different. Uh, they, uh, I'm going to show you an example. In Mexico, 10 women are murdered every day and it's getting worse. And I did this cartoon because I felt so, so angry about every time I hear another case. And people united to try to solve this problem. And uh, I'm, I'm talking about all types of people. This is a football player, a comedian, and a car racer, everyone. So uh, I like to make people uh, think and feel with my cartoons. I believe art generates empathy and connects people. And uh, I really, really, uh, I'm really happy to be here to speak to you because sometimes art is underestimated and I think art has the power of generating this empathy that unites everyone. Uh, creating beauty out of chaos is my way of speaking up. What's yours? Thank you.